<laughs> it's Camino and Rich. <laughs> Tight like Lilo and Stitch. That's a good one. Thanks for hanging out, bitch. Camino and Rich. Com. Road trip. Oklahoma City, October 9th. Ending in Winnipeg, October 13th. Details at Covino and Rich.com, our Midwest road trip. Hope to see you there. Spot, you're picking out places as we speak, right? You're uh, negotiating uh, different venues, I guess you'd say. That's correct. Hey, Rich. Spot, can you like get the company behind it and have them talking about it? Like, what else is going on is so important. What other radio show is doing something that's so awesome that it needs precedence over that announcement? I want to know. This inquiring mind wants to know. What else is the company promoting? Is Andy is Andy Cohen uh, having a fucking uh, slumber party? Slumber party, and that's Might taking be. precedence. I want to know. We're fucking hitting the road, Midwest, taking Sirius XM, taking a show to a to a city near you. It should get some promotion. That's all I'm asking for. That's all. What other show is doing that? And what is taking precedence? Hmm. Is Jamie Foxx in a hall somewhere broadcasting live? No, John Fugel sang's in a submarine. Is John Fugel sang fucking uh, broadcasting from a hot air balloon? What the fuck is better than that? Tell me, please, because I want to know. Okay. I'm I'll, I'll investigate. I'm, I'm serious. I'll investigate. I'm serious because well, I want to know what channel that no one listens to or no one's ever heard of is getting the promotion from a bullshit broadcast that no one cares about that's cooler than what we're going to be doing with, with a crowd of people for a week. I, I want to know think you have a great argument. I think we have a fucking amazing argument, so I but think, who's fighting uh, that fight? Well, fight! I'm saying it on the air. That's my that's my well, microphone. That's my platform. So, but let me give everyone the cities one more time. So, if you want to come join us, which you do, because we're going to have a fun time. We'll have some drinks and meet you and hang. Monday, October 9th in Oklahoma City. Like I said, they're all going to be at nighttime. They're going to be nighttime hangs, nighttime broadcasts. Monday in Oklahoma City. Monday the 9th. <sighs> The Tuesday. lack of promotion has given me uh, FDC. Friction de culo. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I know. Fucking get me all worked up. Tuesday, October 10th, we'll be in St. Louis. Wednesday, October 10th, we'll be in Chicago, Illinois. Thursday. Wait, October 11th, you said. Wednesday, October 11th. Well, Wednesday, October 11th in Chicago. Well, Thursday, October 12th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then we end up in Winnipeg on Friday the 13th. All October, two weeks from now. Guys, two come weeks. hang out. We, we, we need promos. We need backing. We need help. What the fuck, <gasps> bro? I know how events work. I know how marketing works, bro. I know how the, the spots rolling his eyes at you. Yeah, well, guess what? Cut he's the promo. guy. That, he's the guy that should be, you know, making sure these things happen. Now, I'm not putting it all on him, but you know, there's some people that should be backing it harder. CJ in the Bay Area, Conley Jonely. What's up, CJ? Hey guys, Rich, Steve. Hey, What's buddy. up, man? Hey, I don't know how you guys are ever going to top uh, the Henry Winkler. Uh... But well, I'm getting my settlement. That's why. All right. Well, oh, I wish you luck. the best. Wish you the best, buddy boy. That's Mark in Colorado, everybody. Uh, one of the legendary <laughs> yes members of the Covino and Rich family. Thank you, buddy. Have a good day. Mark in Colorado. All right. So I'm done. Can I eat my Power Crunch bar? And go home? I want to go home. I'm, I'm actually really disappointed. Why? Because I didn't agree with you on the butt crevice thing? I'm sorry. No, because we're doing the road trip. Why are you really getting bummed about this right now? I am. You think I want to, honest to God, I mean, as much as I love going out there, giving yeah. up a week just to go the extra mile, pun intended. The extra thousand miles. Yeah, and we're putting our body through. It's like, do you remember Teddy Atlas? How he's talking about how the fighters fucking put I their bodies. Body through it. They put their bodies through this and they come out with Spot's less not, of Spot's themselves. Listen. Spot, listen to his rant. We come out with less of ourselves at the end of this because we give so much. <laughs> and no one even fucking promotes it. Like, what's the point? What is the point? What is the point of having a party? What is the point of having a gathering? What is the point of doing anything extra if you're not promoting it? You know, you can have a DJ, you can have the whole fucking setup, but if you're not promoting it, then what's the point? I don't disagree. That's, that's so that's upsetting to me. Why don't you... Uh... Stick around one of these days and go on a... Uh, because my job to... is to fucking go there and execute. That's my job. 
to, to, to be willing your to job, make that. Your job goes beyond that. You can, no, it so, does. You can stick around one day. My and, job's uh, not. My job's to promote and do this show and, and what's on the air for these three hours. And to say, you know what? I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to go to this city, to that city, to, to give up my time and, and get on the road with you guys and do that. Meet people, shake hands, win people over, get people interested in the show, to do a great broadcast, to have fun. That's my job. My job is to promote on the air. Outside of that, I can't do much more. Who do you want to talk about? I'm trying to think that where could, where every channel should have a liner. The website should be promoting it. Other shows should be behind it. Because they're not doing it. We are. And not only are we representing our show, which, yes, is very selfish of us, but we're also mm -hmm. representing the company at the same time. You know, I don't see anyone else doing these things. So I, I am fed up with that shit. You know, we're coming down to a contract uh, negotiation, trying to do extra things, and we just don't get the credit or support for it. And there's a lot of people that do have our backs. Do. Don't get me wrong. And there's a lot of people that, that love what we do and support what we do, but they're not pushing it. You know what they push? Garbage. And I'm sick of that. I, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I just don't know. I just don't know under the – I mean – do you want, like, Flash Phelps on 60s on 6 to be like, and by the way, Flash Phelps, yes. uh, that with the Beatles, and if you want to join Covino and Rich. Like Why not? It's, it's a, it should be at least thrown out there for, for the option for Flash Phelps to mention that. Everything else is. So you want, like, uh, you know, yeah, Billy, Billy, John not... Billy Johnson, who's 67 years old and listens to Flash Phelps, you want him to come to our show? Why not? Yeah, the anyone's, more the anyone, anyone's welcome. But I don't give a fuck as long as people show up. You know, because you who, know who looks Billy like Johnson who listens just to Flash Phelps, but no, has never heard. You know who looks like Kavino and Rich? How about even on our channel spot? I haven't heard one promotion saying, "Hey, Kavino and Rich's road trip." On have our you, own have, channel. Yeah, but have you talked about anything else on this channel? Have you yeah, talked about? I do it every every have day. You, have you been promoting Ellis Mania it. that's coming up this week? No, that's I their big a, event. I set a promotion on this channel. I bet you there's a promo on this channel promoting Alice Mania. Is there a promotion on this channel promoting Covino and Rich? Have you have you cut one like I have? It could be done by a voice guy. I talk about it every day. I talk about it on Turbo. I talk about it everywhere I can. I do what okay. I can. Is I don't anyone know why you're else so doing fired it? up about this now? Because we'll, we'll, what is? Because we have two weeks. We'll cut a couple promos. And who looks like the asshole when we're there and no one shows up? We'll cut a couple promos after the show. And we'll give them to the right people to have them air on different channels. But, I mean, it's not going to air on certain... You know, you're not going to get promos for a, a road trip matter. airing on uh, 70s on 7. A liner meaning, you know, DJs having the option to read it on their show. But that, you, hey, I, here's I, what's I, going I on. That doesn't mean that no, they ha I, anyone has to do anything. I agree, but do you do that for other people? I would. But do you? I would. Yeah. What do you mean you would? I would. You've been, you've been on Octane you know and what? Turbo for the last time. style. These other jackoffs have nothing else to talk about. When we were on the, when no, we it's were, true. When we were in the sports other department. Other radio shows do. They read their liners because they have nothing else. When we were in the sports department, okay? When we were on Rush in the sports department. We got a, a memo every we day. We were mandated. They, they, there was a mandate from our, our uh, vice president, Mr. Steve Cohen. Hey, bro, instead of fighting I'm me, not fighting not, it, but, but you're, but you're being me. very hypocritical. Fight No, I'm not being me. hypocritical. Yeah, you are. You're I, being very self-centered and hypocritical. No, it's not, because I listen to Sirius XM because I'm a fan, and I hear other DJs reading liners about garbage. I'm gonna we be... could be part of that rotation. I don't read liners because I have other things to talk about. Other people don't. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to make this point. I'll fight his fight because Kavino's fight is our fight. No, you guys would rather fight me instead no. of fighting with me. That's the truth. No, it's not true. The spot is. I would absolutely want our promo and line of read on the website. But what I'm saying Let's is. Let's see what's on the website right now that's so much more important than, the, than taking this company and what we do. What a weird a fight city. you're picking here. Why is it a weird fight? There's a third one. Who's getting behind no, it? Let me see. SiriusXM.com. Every game from beginning to end in the end zone. NFL radio. I get it. Our NFL is okay, huge. I get that. Howard Stern. Yeah, he needs promotion. Go ahead. He's the face of the company. I you get should, it, but you, he you really needs uh, more promotion. You get that, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. Third thing on the website. Beatles radio. No, I never heard of them. Let's promote them. Uh, commercial free hit music on Hits 1. I get it. I get it. Is Beatles radio coming to a city near you? Mad Dog Radio! Get it? He's on the main page. Those, those are your five rotating yeah, there's things. Really, there's really not. There's really no real promotion. Oh no, no. I'm sorry. Hillary Clinton's town hall. She was at Sirius XM yesterday. Watch the stars of This Is Us talk about season two. I'm. I'm I think you just pick it a weird fight because how is it a weird fight? Only because 
you know promoting an event i don't get how that's a weird fight we're yeah. not getting help in, in promotion of our event okay. but anyway continue I, i'm okay. done okay I'm, I'm just saying you don't read lines hey for other shows so you can't expect people to read Linus for your show. It would be nice if they were out there. But you re- did you really think they will? Like, who do you hear reading Linus? Everybody. On all the music channels. And, 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 I, and while I don't disagree with getting promotion for our show, I, don't, I completely agree that yeah, our show Yeah, why would you? Of course you would want it. Of course. Of course. Um, for events like this and events like our, our listener convention, our Dubro, or DBC, sorry, um, you know, these are our events for our listeners... And I feel like our listeners are well aware of what's going on with our show. And while we do want to grow our audience, I feel like doing in-person events are, you know, you don't want to have like a, a, it doesn't make sense to have like random people just show up because they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? And they're not going to be as invested. Does that make sense? No, not to me. Cause I'll shake their hands and win them over one by one. Like I want like organic, uh, uh, you know, people to, but I feel like people aren't going to just come out if. They don't never heard of our show. Yeah, it just seems weird to me. Okay, then yeah, we at least have promos channel. running on this channel. I agree. I, I completely agreed. 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 There you go. There's right. your compromise. But you I'll, talk uh, about. But we'll, well, yeah, well, this is totally off the air. Shouldn't that's yeah, what I but said. But that's I've... not my job to execute. That's what do you not mean? my job to execute? Then where are the promos? Then where is the advertisement? We have to cut one. Then let's do it. I will do it. We'll do it. You, you act do it like now? I'm you... saying no. I won't do you it. Stop, can we, you have I ever, ever, do it? Right have I ever it? denied that though? I mean, you act like I, no. I, I, I've had. I mean, said I, no. said it, I said it Monday morning on the way into work, and so Spot. far nothing. I mean, when you tell us to read a fucking uh, sleep number ad, we do that, right? Yeah. So why would I re- be resistant to doing anything that's going to benefit our show? You act like we're resistant. It has to get done. All right. Whatever. Are you mad that we stopped talking about butt uh, butt coloring? No, I'm just mad that we're two weeks away mm-hmm. and we sacrifice our life. Okay, these are things that that put that that were detrimental. <laughs> sacrifice my life. Yeah, because these are things that were detrimental to my 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 life and where I'm at right now and, and what I'm oh, doing I in life. Okay, and I, and these are things you know I put work first and I, and and I'm giving up my life for what? If you know, if no one's even behind it. I hear you. I got you. I I do. I understand. It's it's frustrating to you because you feel like you've sacrificed a lot. As far as your personal life. You just fart again? I farted on you. I'm it's moving fine. on. Fuck I'm you. done. All right, move on. It's got not weird. just that. Like, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things you could do in that week. But we're, instead, we're going out there and fucking we're going out to have some fun and go the extra mile. Who's taking notice of that? All right, let's get the promos on the channel for the next two weeks to promote the dates and the cities and everything spot. Okay? Do you see any resistance from me? All right, let's do it. I'm just saying there's a lot of dick sucking going on. And it should be our dicks. That's all. Ooh. Okay. All right. Where do you where do you want to go next? To Oklahoma City. I hope people are there. Yeah. I hope people show up. Maybe. Oh, you spot. Where's that? Where's Brandon Dassey from? Where is that again? Oh, uh, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Do you want to stop there because he may be? Uh, he, he's. I think going to court today. Is that is that true? So a headline about. Uh, I remember making a murderer, Brian Dassey, the 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 kid. Brendan Dassey. Bre- what did I say? Brandon? Brian. Oh, Brian. Yeah, Brendan Dassey. Brendan. Right they, uh, today today might be a big step, I think, in his in his court case. Like, hey, on a high five? But you know what you're doing, though? You're making it seem and like I'm, the com- I'm appreciative of that. You're making it seem like it's the company's idea, and they're making you do that. I'm, I'm not pointing it at you in any way, shape, or form. You should be behind me saying, am, yeah, I'm right. I've- oh, Brian. Yeah, Brendan Dassey. Brendan right they uh today today might be a big step i think in his in his court case where you know they're trying to let him out of jail now <laughs> after all the time been saying that for uh, a year now i don't know let's go let's go to the phone calls chat in minnesota i wanted i'm i'm like so done today why what are you done about i don't know your attitude like your attitude you I, act like I, I'm, I I'm, I'm 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 not pointing it at you in any way shape or form you should be behind me saying I yeah am, i'm right but i feel like you're uh you're picking the wrong fight. What's up, Chad? The wrong fight? We're giving up a week. You're taking yeah. a week away from your child. You don't think they should promote that? A week away from your child. But you're also making a week away my, from but, your family. But you're almost, but, you're, but no, you're doing You know how many too? times we've done that no, with zero doing. support aside from budget? But, but, but you know what? Like, hey, and a high five? But you know what you're doing, though? You're making it seem and like I'm, the comp- I'm appreciative of that. You're making it seem like it's the company's idea and they're making you do it where you want to do it. I, of course I want to do it, but we need support. Not not just in financial support, meaning like, hey, we're out there 
let's promote this. I get that. You're thinking old so school. How is that, a, you're thinking how is that school, a bad thing? I get it. You're thinking old school traditional radio and okay, how people okay. used to promote things more and stuff like that. I get it. Tyler, forget it. Tyler in Minnesota. Let's not promote it. What's up, Tyler? <laughs> hey, actually, it's Chad. But Chad, what's um, up? I'm, I'm totally on board with Cavino. Um, you guys are what I think is the best kept secret. I used to listen to Yeah, Alex and I'm sick of that time. shit. I'm sick of it. I had I had no idea you two even existed, and now I have to listen to you every single day. And I hear ads for Stern and for Alice and for other shows yes. on other channels, thank and I you. don't hear it for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And this is what I have to do, cry like a fucking baby to make a point. You know, I hope people hear it. I hope people understand. You know, it's just it's ridiculous uh, uh, to the point where it's like, well, what else do we have to do? Fucking, uh, again, hang glide like Andrew Wil like my made up story of Andrew Wilkow live in the air <laughs> from, from the hang glider. From a, you know, what I mean, what do we need to do? Have a fucking a giant a blimp sponsored by Cavino and Rich hey. broadcasting live? I don't understand what else we could do to earn a little support and promotion of the show. Whose dick do we have to suck? Is what I'm asking. That's all because we're two weeks away. And we could show up to Winnipeg, and no one might be there. You know why? Because we're in this bubble, and outside this bubble, nobody knows. And and I get it. On the channel. Because we're promoting things that everybody knows. You know what? You ain't shit unless you're creating your own stars. Guess what? The Beatles and the NFL and Howard Stern, they're all stars before anyone else is promoting them here. Promote Cavino and Rich. How about that? Tyler in Ke Wisconsin. Cashew and... Oklahoma City. What's up, Tyler? How about, how about that? I'm just, I'm just. Hey guys, I'm just <laughs> sick of it. You know uh, what's up, man? We're we're gonna come back fucking um, beaten, destroyed, tired, and fat from all the fun we're having out there, and and, and you know it's gonna go unnoticed. What's up, Tyler? Well, I think you guys are doing great. So uh, if that means anything, hey, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I was um, the caller that called in about his asexual wife, maybe beginning of last week. Oh wait, Tyler, this is a great, this is a great twist of events. Do we want to put this guy on hold because I do want to get into this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, Tyler. All right, Tyler, hold if you on. don't mind holding, because I want to wrap up these phone calls, and at the same time, this is uh, smoke and mirrors of my way of promoting our road trip. Uh, if you don't go the road trip, Camino's gonna lose it. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. To think that um, uh, we're safe is no one's safe in their career. Our contract's up in a few months. You know, these things are big for Why us. Why are you playing scared? Do you like a ball player playing scared? I don't, don't, I don't, think, scared. I don't, don't think so at all. I don't think I'm playing scared at all. I, I mean, you know, we have options, but I want to keep my job. I love my job. So we do these things. Uh, Nick, and you know what? But the point is, why do these things? Other people aren't doing these things. If they're not going to be promoted, then why do them? I, I get what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. I just feel like you're making it seem... I think what spots thinking also is that you make it I don't know like how this. you guys don't think uh, exactly what I'm thinking you make it seem like this is something new though yeah but I'm sick of it that's the point it's not anything new aren't you sick of it yes okay so if a radio show does a show in the woods yet there's no one there to hear it did it ever really happen if we're going on a road trip... Are you talking about Winnipeg? There's more to Winnipeg And we're Winnipeg sacrificing time with friends and family and our own lives and our own health, to be quite honest. Health? Health? Yeah, because, dude, you, you know where the damage that gets done on these road trips. Fuck. That's how I view it. <laughs> I'm going to come... Bro. You're sacrificing your health? I am. I, to be quite honest, I really am, because all we're going to do is boost the entire, uh, the entire time. Do you want a fucking Purple Heart to go on this road trip? No. But what I want is promotion, dick face. That's all. Not Purple Hearts, not pats on the back. Promotion. Help. Spot, spot, support. Can you, spot, can you write a, uh, an email to the production department and also add at the end of it, uh, in, in addition to the promotional uh, promos that need to be made, right, that Kavino's sacrificing his health. His health. What's up, Winnipeg? We'll be uh, there uh, <laughs> October 13th. Eric in Atlanta wants to know, are you, do you consider yourself uh, like a coal miner? Does your job... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do coal miners need promotion for an event that they're hosting? Kevin uh came back from the road trip with the black lung. Hey, what's up, Winnipeg? Hey, man. Uh, my name's Rick from Winnipeg here. Hey. Yeah. Long time fan, first time caller. Thank you. I got to anyway. scream like a baby to, to make a point. No, I you apologize. Know what, you know, uh, I think you have a point here because um, I heard you guys are coming to town October 13th. And I'll be there, and I was trying to basically promote you guys to all my buddies, and they're like, who the fuck's Kavino and Rich? And I'm 
one of the few that are saying they're great, they're better than Howard Stern, but nobody seems to know who you guys are, and it's not for. And guess what? Of- nobody oh, knows that show. we're coming to Winnipeg. Hey, you know why? Because we're the only ones talking about it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, the man. problem. All right, I get it, but then well, the, then I'm- getting it is not solving the problem. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. It's a grander problem than getting a promotion for our road trip. Then you should fight harder, Spot. You're the backbone producer no, 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 of the show. No, 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 no. I just don't want to show up and be the only Dunsky that knows that you guys are uh, in town. Because I know what? you guys are. Crazy, we don't want to be the only two jackasses that are there. I don't want you to be the only Dunsky. Dunsky. <laughs> I, thought he said, I thought he said donkey. Oh, right. uh, I don't know. Spot. Thank you, buddy. Keep, continue promoting because yeah, we rely on word of mouth. Thank you. Yes, it means a lot. It really I does. Mean, you make it sound like I'm fighting. You are against you. you are you are because you act like I'm speaking another language right now. No, I, I just know the inner workings of how I do. I know how promos work. Right? And we need to make a promo. It'll run on this channel. We just need to do it. So you can blame Spot that it's not running yet. And then he can blame you for not cutting a promo yet. But that's, that's, but, that's, but that's ex- a garbage but, but excuse. Ex- but externally, on other yeah, channels, on other it is channels, a garbage excuse because you, when something else needs to get done, you, you ensure we get it done. I mean, I, yeah. Like the same, I would give you an example. On our channel, you can blame Spot and he can blame you and you guys can fight all day, which is irrelevant. But on other channels, People reading a liner, they get an email that says, and Kavino Rich will be doing a road trip. Check out details on the Sirius6M.com slash Fraction Talk, which would be the liner they'd get, some simple bullshit liner, right? Mm -hmm. That would be the the likelihood of them reading that is the likelihood of you, me, or some some other. It doesn't matter. I can't tell people how to do their job, but we can ensure that we do our job and make sure they have that information, and they don't. But what I'm saying is, when was the last time you were, the other day, did you get a liner? It doesn't matter. That's not how I broadcast. but, But I'm saying the emails I got. You know, we get emails with different promos from different things. Have you one time been like, check out Bill O'Reilly as he stops by Andrew no, Wilkow? Other people hey, do that. Check out- I don't do that. Other people but do that. But why don't you do that? Because I have things to talk about. Other people do so that because they're lazy. So you're exempt from... Because you know, from- they're lazy and they have no other things to talk so about. So you don't want... That's you why. want people to do for you, but what you won't do yeah, for them. because what I'm doing is far more than they're doing. I'm go- taking the show on the road... And this isn't the first time we've done it. No, no, but what I'm saying is you're not willing to read promos for other shows, but you want people to read promos for your shows. I'm no, just playing devil's my, advocate. You're, you're miss, no, your, your point sucks my balls, and I'll tell you why. People read liners not to help out because they have nothing else to talk about. So now you're just saying the, yes, quality, of the, other host, the other quality of the host sucks. So 100%. Should, okay. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, read the promos! That's, you know it's true. Why don't you read promos of other people's shit when you're doing your radio stuff? On the on the music side, why don't you read them? Why? Because you have other things to talk about. I'm good. So why do other people read them? Because they they don't they bring out a shit to say. <laughs> where are the promos? Court, promos. Court in Sacramento. Promos. We're, we're gonna get to uh, our friend the need real quick. Uh, Rochester, Minnesota says I'm shy as hell. I want to come meet you in Minneapolis, but I'm nervous. Please come. Uh, Court, you're on Sacramento. Let's, let's you know, ra- said he suck, he'll suck your dick. Let's, yeah. Let's wrap this up quick though, because I don't want to sound like the fucking big baby. What's up, Court? Lost, baby. Hey, real quick. Uh, I'm in sales and marketing. This is what you guys, this is my suggestion. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm going to, you're going to pull in listeners that are already fans of you in these towns. What you guys need to do is get more comedians or guests and let them promote your. Yeah, I've tried that. No one ever executes. I'm sorry. I I say these things. No one executes. It's all, you know, if if Rich and I don't fucking uh, hold someone down and force them to do it, it doesn't get done. I don't I don't know what else to do. You don't think we thought of that, dude? Oh, wait, well, hold on. Why are you yelling at court? I'm not I'm not yelling at court. I'm making the point. You, you sort don't of think, yelling at court. No, I'm not. I'm explaining that it, you're stating the obvious from from our standpoint. It just doesn't happen. You also don't want to put in any legwork either. I give, I give, give you a quick example. You guys, are, you guys, what's great about the, the time slot, again, from the mar- Chitoy Marketing, you guys are pulling from the Jim and Sam show, and then you're, you're, you're kind of pulling in a little bit of Ellis. When I, this morning, Burt Kreischer was on um, the, the Jim and Sam show. Was he wearing clothes? He, 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 I don't know. I, I'm just telling you, but he's advertising the fact that he's on the gym Sam show. I'm just giving you, I'm not telling you what to do, bro. I'm just saying. Court, I agree with gonna, you. I agree with you, thousand percent. And your company doesn't, isn't going to support you, but your fans will. So that's all you got to fucking kind of own. Keep your fans, but don't let your, don't, well, don't lose. Look, the, 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 the company the supports us, and there's a lot of people that support us, and our boss is a big fan of us. It's just for some reason, somehow, you know, I can't explain it, Court. You know, these things, we slip through the cracks. I don't know why. 
Uh, and I'm sick of it. So maybe is we it, need to be, a, maybe we need a, to be uh, loudmouth, blowhard bitches. Is it and a, if that's what I got to do sometimes, then I'm doing it now. Is it a miscolored crack that you're slipping through? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, friction, friction de culo. That's maybe, maybe that's I think that's what I'm suffering from right now. Yeah, our show is suffering from friction de culo. Bryce <laughs> in Daytona Beach, you're on the show. Cavino and Rich coming to a city near you starting October 9th through the 13th. What's up? Bryce. Moving on. Brian. Salt Lake City. Hey, Salt Lake City, you're on. Hey. Awesome. Uh, just sit back and listen to this great idea we saw years ago. So what you do is you get a helicopter, <laughs> and like Les Nessman did, and you fly over the city and drop turkeys from it. That is the greatest radio promotion of all time. It is. WKRP in Cincinnati. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. The turkey. Just, Yo, it's fun. We need to do that. a turkey drop. So turkey awesome. drop. A turkey drop. <laughs> no, no problem. Oh, my God. I thought they could fly. No one will promote it. Come on, dude. Turkey drop. Ben in Winnipeg. You're on the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, I just wanted to back up the fact that you have fans everywhere. I've been a long-term listener for a long time. Um, I've called in a couple times. You guys actually talked to me, which is pretty awesome. If there's any dude bro convention coming to Winnipeg, I'm all over it. Thank you, I'm man. Sure, sure shit is a lot of people that I do a lot of business with um, that would be there, too. I appreciate that. Listen, look, I, I'm not saying we'll the see you on Friday, October every, 13th. Every event we've done, I get what Cavino's saying. And and I, the last thing, I, I'm amazed that if anyone would think I don't agree with Cavino, I just think that. Yeah, but enough's enough, right? We just keep we just keep accepting every it. Every event we've done, we've had a nice turnout of, of listeners in different cities, but it could always be bigger. And, it, and it's not. And it's never going to get to that next level of big if you're right. If it's if it's isolated and promoted only within the realm of our radio show. That is all. But maybe we should do a turkey drop. Old school. It's a helicopter. And it's coming this way. A helicopter? It's flying something behind it. I can't quite make it out. It's a large banner. And it says, uh, happy thing. W K The turkey drop spot. Dropping turkeys. What a sight. You remember Andre. that episode or no? No. You don't remember that? That was like the only WKRP episode I remember. I, I got the reference, but I, I don't remember it. What's up, Andre? What's up, Andre? Um, I had a question for you guys. Who decides which city you guys go to because i mean being from canada i've been through winnipeg and that place is a shithole it was a midwest road trip and it was a collective decision it's just in our path from minnesota uh so we hope that you can make it there man matt in toronto you're on hey man what's going on what's, what's up, up man uh, i think i may solve some of your problem you guys need to make your instagram stories and your uh instagram following larger you're only at 12k the other guys on this channel, like Wolfmate, uh, Scott El or Alice, has got uh, like 199,000. Yeah, I mean, he comes from a different world, though. I mean, you know, I these know, guys. I know that. Yeah. yeah and we jumped on Instagram. We jumped on. We jump. Uh, we jumped on Instagram late. That was our. Uh, <laughs> that was our terrible decision. I mean, that's not to take away from his radio show or anything yeah. like that. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. he's. A famous skateboarder. A famous skateboarder with a different following and, you know, a radio show that bounced around channels for the past fucking 12 years. Uh, 13 plus years. Tom and Chicago. But we agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. fuck yeah. We, I agree with you. We need more uh, people supporting the show. Yeah. Tom and Chicago, you're on. Yeah, what's up, boys? Love the show. Hey. I got a great, I got a great, great idea for you guys. Yeah. This is for Baby Steve. Advertisement. You got to get advertised. Billboard. Satisfaction. I think that's great. <laughs> but, but this guy's a genius. <laughs> Advertising, you say? Oh, you don't say. Every, maybe I should uh, get the call the sleep number pillow guy. What do you think? No, no, the, 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 the my pillow. The my pillow. Oh, no, <laughs> sleep with it. Uh, the my pillow. Uncle Matt call it. Yeah, pillow. he's got commercials all over the place. I should figure hey. out what he's doing. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm so sorry. Fuck it, Bryce and Daytona. R wrap it up, please. Uh, it's Bryce. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. Bryce, you got the. Uh, no, it's not Bryce. It's Tyler. What does it say on my screen? No, no, but Tyler's the one with the asexual wife. I know it says Bryce, but I think he got all confused. Is this? Who is this? 
This is Bryce in Daytona. I don't well, know. What the, then who? Oh, like. before when you went to Bryce, he wasn't there. That was, that was Tyler. Okay, well they're mislabeled. That's not my fault. What's up, Bryce? Uh, yeah, you guys are just talking about advertising on this station, and I've been an uh, XM subscriber uh, since it started, uh, and Opie and Anthony used to have this exact same problem that unless your name was Howard Stern, you weren't getting advertised. I agree with them. I, I, to be honest, I agree with them completely, although they got a hell of a lot more than most. You know, and, and I understand yeah. there's a lot going on here. I do understand all of that. But when you're doing something else that no one else is doing, that's when they should be advertising it. You know, like, like we're not even joking. When John Fugel sang, uh, broadcasted in a submarine, it was like front page news in this company. You know, I don't. <laughs> did he really do that? Yeah, he did. What do you mean? You think I'm joking? I thought you were lying. That's a real thing. That's my real yeah. example. You know, and meanwhile, we got a pretty solid uh, following and, and listening audience. When we're taking the show on the road, it should get better backing. That's all I'm saying. You know, gotcha. Uh, Seth in Washington on the show. That. What's up, Seth? Yeah, hey guys, uh, thanks for taking my call. Love your show, man. Uh, just, just question I had is that you know I've heard I've heard for a long time, man. Camino, you know, over the years you complain uh, or you know you. Voice your opinion, we'll say, about, about promotion and what the company's doing for you guys, switching channels and all that. But you can talk about contract negotiations coming up. I mean, whose job is it to negotiate this shit into contracts and make sure, you know, beforehand expectations are are outlined and laid out there so, you know, you're, there's not letdowns down the road it's like just, this? It, you oh, know, it's, just, it's just business. Again, it's, it's uh, you know, it's called show business, right? And what's a sexier sort of thing to promote? Uh, the Beatles radio or Steve Cavino and Rich Davis, uh, two East Coast bunch of galoop bozos that are hitting the road? Don't, don't call me. Uh, I, I'm just saying, I, I understand why and I, and I get it, you know, but, you know, enough's enough sometimes. And I'm done. And we can move on. Uh, Zeke no, in no, no, Alabama. I'm done. You don't I'm want done. to end with Zeke in Alabama? Fine. Zeke, go ahead. What if he has the answer to all your questions? <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I doubt Zeke has the answers to the questions. All right. Can we move on? I'm yes. done. All right. Moving on.